Hi, this is Do It Yourself Dave, and today we are going to talk about home fitness. Now, we're in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, and we're going to talk about using your home, your basement. Um, you don't need a whole lot of things, right? You do not need the equipment. There's a million dollars worth of equipment in some of these gyms. But the thing is, and the problem with equipment is that it isolates so much that you don't get a full body workout. All those little micro adjustments that you do involve all the whole, the entire body. So we're really going to talk about the home and there's no drive time. There's no membership. The gym is nice and that it mixes things up, but you can actually watch, um, get a, put a smart TV in front of you and you can watch things that entertain you at the home. Um, there's advantages, frankly, uh, at the home. Um, you don't have the social element, but you do have certain, uh, several other advantages. Um, so let's talk about using technology to help keep you on track. We talked about a smart TV that can help reduce boredom that's often associated with uh, working out, but you also have the ability to use um, your own phone and your phone can, you can listen to podcasts and sermons and you can watch videos on your phone, it can watch movies, um, any, everything from humor, the comedians to something very more educational like LinkedIn Learning on your phone. The other thing that um, a phone can do is help keep you um, on task as far as tracking your workouts, whether you add them in on, a, um, on an app. Um, it can uh, document how many steps you're taking. We know that sitting is the new smoking. Uh, there's all types of problems associated with the sedentary lifestyle that we have. And we sit a lot, right, with computers and tablets and driving and just, you know, your work with it in front of a, a screen. So um, we want to walk. You can tell that our body was designed to walk and to move and to push and to climb um, and to lift. And we don't do that so much. So we're not using the way our body, the way that God designed us. And when we do, we get benefits and we don't, there's, there's disadvantages. So I have an Apple Watch. Um, it helps me keep on track. I try to do 10,000 steps a day. Um, I use a um, scale that I bought on Amazon called Renfro Scale. It's like $30 or less. R-E-P-H-R-O, and that's Bluetooth to my phone. And um, I can see the trends and I can set goals. Um, I'm taking a look at my BMI. Um, it, everything is documented in a quantifiable way, just like steps and documenting your workout so that you are knowing that you can't fool yourself, right? The scale doesn't lie, your steps, that, that they don't lie. So it comes you face to face with truly your level of activity and, and whether you're staying faithful to your workout routine. Um, and all these things put together work. Um, you know, when we're over 60, we have got to fight against the ravages of time. We get weaker and we lose muscle mass every year. How do we fight against it? Well, we lift and we move um, and we have a little bit of resistance and, and it works. Um, so my BMI is 23.4 at 60 years old. And it's not because I work real hard, but I just have a habit of doing this a little bit all the time and it, and, and it works. So think about those pieces of the technology. I'm gonna give you some general principles of um, weightlifting and health and wellness. One is that a muscle can only shrink. It can only get smaller. That's what moves the limb. And when you under resistance, it gets stronger, right? Right here's my bicep. And as I have resistance this way, the biceps get stronger. If I have resistance this way, the triceps get shorter and that strengthens the tricep. Make sure that all these exercises I'm telling you about, you use good body form. Um, you probably want to watch a video on how to lift without injury, especially if you're over 16, you're just starting out, work slow, start slow, start light, and then work your way up as the muscle gets stronger. Don't forget, listen to your body. All right, we talked about biceps, triceps, shoulders is whenever you involve the shoulders like shrugs or lifting straight up or out, that's all shoulders. Uh, shoulders are very prone to injury, so take it real slow with that. Chest is when you're on your back and you're pushing straight like this, different than shoulders, lifting straight up. Um, hamstrings, back of your leg, is when you have resistance like this. Quads are involved when you squat and do this motion. Um, and calves is you know when you stand on your tippy toes, that's calves. Lower back is when you have resistance this way core when you have resistance this way or to your side. So try to involve all those major muscle groups and that way you're getting a full body workout. So let's go on over to the dumbbells and we can show you some of these exercises in action. Again, you may not do all your body parts. Um, I'm only gonna show you one or two 
you're going to be focusing on maybe one or body part. You might start five minutes, 10 minutes, up to 30 minutes. You don't have to kill yourself, but I'm just going to show you a big variety of exercises of, um, so that you can sort of think about all the different ways. And this is only scratching the tip of the iceberg. You can go on YouTube and there's charts and there's diagrams as far as how to lift and what to do to mix it up and have variety. I'm just going to show you the major body parts. Okay, so we talked about biceps, right? These are triceps, the resistance, the movement, the muscle shrinking. Shoulders like this or like this um, or shrugs. Chest is when I'm on my back. Calves is when I'm lifting like this, standing on my tippy toes. Um, this shows you compound, which you always want to try to do compound exercises that involve many muscle parts. So here's my legs are involved, my core is involved, my upper back, my tries, and my biceps. Lots of muscles being involved. Very much like this one. If I'm doing this, you can see lots of, lots of muscle parts being involved. And whatever you do on one side, you want to make sure you do on the other side. Okay. Another compound exercise. You can either use a bench or use your own leg. This is upper back, by tries, core. So you have that going. Okay. So let's sit down, lay down, and we're doing chest. You can put your dumbbells perpendicular to the body, parallel to the body. If you bring it in, it's more triceps. If you hug a tree, you're activating more muscles of the chest. You can actually do a little tri action while you're down here. If your legs are up, you're doing core. You can put your legs down like that. Lots of ways of getting involved. There you go, there's core, abs, a little bit of legs, heavy chest. All right. While we're down, let's do more core. The classic plank, of course. You can lift them arm, leg up. You can do your sides by going on your sides. You can do a simple push up. You can use what's called the perfect push up. This gives you a little bit of Ability to prevent hurting your wrists. So many things to do. Let's go to some ropes. Again, this costs about a dollar if you have a, in the basement. This would be a modified, modified, where I'm not putting too much weight. If I go lower like this, more gravity, more weight. And all these things can be modified. For instance, when you do a push-up, you can put your weight on your knees until you feel strong enough to put the weight on your toes. I'm going to do lower back now. Lower back is particularly susceptible to injury, so make sure you're, you're careful. You can use a ball. You can use a bench. You can use the floor. Any of these exercises that I show you, you can modify, but start slow. More core work, right? More core work and leg work. This is another way you can use a ball for core work. Uh, people who own gyms hate to see all the things you can do at home. All right, and that's core. This is, um, one other thing that you can do is as far as legs, legs are a little bit harder without machines at a gym. Take a pair of dumbbells, pair of uh, dumbbells, and you can go up steps. You don't need dumbbells when you go up steps. You can go every other step, or you can just simply walk with heavy things, dumbbells, etc. I'm going to show you one last thing to stretch. Again, make sure that you are not injuring yourself. Listen to your body. Sometimes, you know, it just feels good to stretch like that. And of course, if you have a bar. You can do the classic. So the key thing is to keep moving, keep working, 
lift things heavy, listen to your body, move your body the way that God designed us, and you will get stronger. That's it for now. God bless you.